How old were you when you started? 21. Okay, so 21. No real life experience at that point. So mm -hmm. how how is it? You get in there, you're going to boot camp. <laughs> what, how yeah, is Fort it? Benning, Georgia. Yeah. That's uh, Army infantry training, uh, basic training and all. And uh, actually, I did so good. I, I, like I said, I was in shape when I went in. Mm -hmm. And um, my mentality going into it was like, this is going to be like an outward bound course. I mean, that literally, that was my, that was my uh, mentality going into it. And uh, uh, get to shoot guns, uh, get to hike, backpack, camp out, and all that sort of stuff. And so, yeah, totally different. That's where really where I saw that, wow, people from other parts of the country, I, that's when I realized how good I had it. Even though we weren't super, obviously we weren't wealthy at all when I was growing up, um, but there were people that showed up with no shoes. There were people that showed up with, uh, I mean, just literally the clothes on their back. I mean, that's all they had. People that showed up, that, no driver's license. Um, back then, there were people that, you know, the judge had said, like, you got a choice. You either go to jail or you join the military. And uh, so I was like, wow, man, that, that's, that's a real deal and such. But like I said, for me, I was like, man, this is going to be fun. And like I said, I was in shape. And this is what I tell kids nowadays when they ask me, you know, what they should do. And I said, you got to run. If you can't run, you know, two miles, three miles in less than, you know, six miles, you know, six, uh, six mile a minute, man, you need to start running. Uh, you know, just to give it to you, you know, an example, when I did my final PT test there at Fort Benning, Georgia, when we graduated, I ran the two miles in 10 minutes and 28 seconds. Mm. And I wasn't breathing hard. And uh, so that's the goal you should go for and such. And um, so, yeah, I loved it so much that uh, I ended up becoming the distinguished honor graduate uh, for two companies, actually. And so, so that's interesting. You're 21 years old. You're not overwhelmed at all. You're just kind of, oh, this is the uh, camp out for me. Yeah. So, and so nothing really, they're screaming at you. They're doing everything that they do at him. You didn't, you just kind of, how did you? How did you, as a 21-year-old who had, didn't have that much life experience, how did you kind of figure that out mentally? I, I you know, I had a uh, mom and dad love them. My dad's passed away, but, you know, they were a loving family. And I knew deep down inside that if I screwed this up, if I failed, I could go home. Hmm. They would accept me, no matter what. So I thought, there's no problem. I can. Uh, you know, do the best that I can do. And, um, and you know, if I pass, I pass. If I don't, well, I gave my best shot. Um, the, when it really sunk home that I was in the Army was the very, very first morning uh, in basic training. And uh, we're all sitting, you know, in the, in the bay with all the beds uh, on the ground there. There were no uh, bunk beds, whatever. And, uh, and I just remember just all of a sudden the lights came on and I'm looking at the door. And I'm like, wow, there's a garbage can flying through the air. Got bam, 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 you know, and I'm like, wow. And then here comes all these drill sergeants coming in there, get up, get up. And the first beds, they were like ripping them, flipping them over and everything. I'm like, whoa, I better get up. You know, so I got up and, you know, standing at attention at the end of the, my bunk and all. And I'm like, wow. And there's still guys just asleep and everything. Just like, wham, just you know, throwing them out of the beds. And I'm like, wow, this is just like what I'd seen in the movies or, or heard about. This is so cool. And then, uh, you know, then there's everybody out, you know, now, you know, so we all got into the big sand pit, um, sawdust pit, actually, uh, PT. And I just remember doing, you know, just you know, typical, they're yelling at everybody. We're all in formation, uh, doing push-ups, you know, ad nauseum and we're, you know, sit-ups, flutter kicks, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I just remember thinking like, wow, this is so cool because we're talking what maybe four in the morning. It was still dark, and the lights on the over the the saw pit, uh, sawdust pit. They were shining on. I could see the silhouettes of guys, and I could see you know just steam coming off of everybody's heads. And I was like, wow, man, this is so cool. <laughs> and all. I mean, like I said, I you know I no problems doing push ups and all that. So obviously the ones that were out of shape, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they were getting full attention the shark attack you know they were getting the full shark attack and uh like oh man yeah definitely don't stop <laughs> and uh never quit on the runs or anything like that 
and it was it was kind of funny because I had uh, uh, a friend had given me, his mom had given me some uh, running shoes right before I went into the army, and they said they were man the old school uh, running shoes, and on the side it said University of Budweiser. They were given to her by a friend that was a beer distributor guy. And he had these University of Budweiser <laughs> uh, running shoes. And so sure enough, you know, uh, I'm doing flutter kicks and the drill sergeant is like, University of Budweiser, God damn it, you know, you know, roll over and you'll know, push ups, you know, sit out, flutter kicks, you know, all that sort of stuff. Like, oh, wow. And those shoes ended up giving me uh, shin splints really bad. So I ended up having to go to the PX anyway and buy some real uh, running shoes. Not, uh, but um, that was, you know, the, the getting to, to shoot the M16 rifle. Uh, that was the great thing about the infantry. We got to shoot a lot of stuff, a, a lot of different weapons. You know, back then with the M60 machine gun, the uh, M16, the M249 saw was just coming out. Got to shoot that. Uh, the law rocket got to shoot that. And once again, um, I scored high enough that I became the dragon gunner, uh, which would be kind of equivalent sort of to the javelin now, but it's a, a wire guided, um, anti-tank missile on the ground. So I got to shoot, uh, two of those live rounds while I was there in basic training. Um, that was fun doing that. Uh, Claymore mines, uh, you know, the school on all the, uh, the traps and the, uh, ambush setups and stuff like that. It was just too much fun, too much fun. And um, the running was like, okay, uh, that was no problem whatsoever. Uh, it was actually, it was a problem only when I ended up at the front of the formation and the guide on bear was like, oh God, oh God, I'm gonna fall. You know, I, he, he's about to fall out. And drill sergeant says, you know, Flores, get that guy on, don't you let it hit the ground. And all. I'm like, oh, well, shoot. And so I'm running, and so that's how I became the guide on bear for the rest of uh, basic and infantry training. Um, not that I wanted to do it, but yeah, that's how I got to do that. Mm -hmm.